Creator of the graphic novel and comic series Lock and Key has a striking similarity in appearance and writing style to his famous horror writer father, the infamous Stephen King. Joseph Hillstrom King has ditched his famous family name for the shortened non de plume, Joe Hill. The Netflix original series Lock and Key is based off the graphic novel Joe Hill did with the comic artist Gabriel Rodriguez. I want to do a brief recap of the show before it comes out for its second season on October 22nd. Fantasy and horror elements come together in a psychological thriller about the Locke family that moved from Seattle to their ancestral home, a giant mansion called the Locke House. On the Atlantic coast, after their father, Randall Locke, a school counselor, is killed by a student who is drawn to a picture of the Locke House in Randall's office. I know how special you are. Stop! This isn't real! Yes, it is, Sam. And I know how to get you what you want. You just have to listen to me, okay? Just listen. The youngest child, Bodie, is the first person in the family to find out that there's something magical in the historic well house on the property. Nobody believes Bodie at first. And the well lady he finds in there tricks him into giving him the anywhere key after he uses it once. When he finds a key that unlocks up the mirrors in their house, his mother walks into it and almost gets lost until his older brother Tyler comes home and rescues her, but she quickly forgets what happened. I could explain my mom doesn't remember anything. The reason why she doesn't remember is because she's a grown-up. That's how this stuff always works. Only kids can get into Narnia. This isn't the Lion, the Witch, and the whatever, Bodhi. Bodhi tries to trap the well lady, but he starts to figure out that she is much more powerful than he thought. Bodhi finds the key by some magical whispering that only the locked children can hear throughout the show. Bodhi finds the head key and invites his siblings into his mind. Another version of Bodhi is jumping on a trampoline when they enter his head, and he tells them that it's his glee. Kinsey can't help herself from going in her own head, and her brother Tyler joins her. Bodhi got an arcade and I get a weird ass mom. They're like memory stores. Summer camp, first days, sleepovers, best dance moves. Wow, it's so organized. Even your head is a control freak. In Kinsey's head, the dream shifts, and she is faced with her fear. An evil monster that she believes has held her back from stopping her father's murder. Bodhi hears the magical whispering from one of his ancestors. He finds a key, and when he puts it into the door, his body goes cold, and he is turned into a ghost. He flies around the property, and he meets his great-great-grandfather, Chamberlain Locke. Chamberlain Locke tells Bodhi that his father and uncle used to fly around the house with them when they were kids. Kinsey tries to kill her fear and buried in the woods. She feels great the next day, but as the show plays out, she realizes she needs her fear and also that she can't completely kill it. When the well lady comes back for the keys, Bodhi realizes the only way she can receive a key is if he gives them to her. you just taken it from me. I'm done playing games. Give me the key. You can't take it from me, can you? You need me to give it to you. You think you're so clever. I can be clever too. The well lady gives Sam, the kid that killed Randall, a key. And he burns down the prison he's being held in and comes back to the lock house to find the head key for the well lady. Sam comes back with a gun and holds the locks hostage. Kenzie tricks him into coming out into the woods. She tricks Sam into digging up her fear. She buried earlier and it attacks him. Many of the mysteries of the show are revealed in the last couple episodes. Lucas came back into Ellie's life, but we realize it's not the same Lucas she knew before he died. 
It is the well lady. Ellie even tries to shoot him, but he doesn't die because as we find out towards the end, Lucas is a demon that, that can take form of different people. It goes by the name Dodge. Dodge has been trying to find the Omega key this whole time and is getting closer and closer to finding it. Ellie comes clean with the kids. She explains how when they were teenagers, they opened up the door in the ocean cave with the Omega key and debris from the other side shot out and hit her boyfriend, Lucas, turning him into a demon. This is why they made a vow to hide the keys. Ellie hatches a plan to defeat Dodge with the Law Kids and goes back to the house to get the Crown of Shadows in order to defeat Dodge. The Dodge as Lucas catches her in the act. They think they are throwing the Well Lady into the door in the ocean cave, but when Ellie goes missing, we see a scene of Lucas turning Ellie into the well lady. There is also an ember from the other side of the door that hits the mean girl Eden. And we realize that Kinsey's new love interest has actually been Dodge the whole time. The show leaves off on a cliffhanger where Dodge's Gabe and Eden are both demons plotting their next move. I haven't read the graphic novel, but I assume the demons will be up to more mischief in season two. And I wonder if Kinsey's fear and the ghost of Sam will play a role. And also if Ellie is dead or if there's a possibility she will come back through the door. If you enjoyed my video, subscribe and hit the like button.